Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm well, thanks, Betty. How are you yes. going, mate? You're looking good. Um, John, today I just wanted to talk to you about um, third-party affiliates, you know, with most of my clients being a photography business coach. And um, one thing they have to do is to get out there and get some third-party affiliates on board. In other words, a gift uh, program uh, from other sources that can drive uh, leads to the business. And you, um, you have been fairly successful at this. Uh, a lot of photographers have this fear of going out cold and approaching businesses. Uh, yeah. I recommend that they send emails and then people who respond, they therefore, you know, can uh, contact them and sit down and talk. But you mm. did something different. Uh, just tell us what you did. A couple of weeks ago, you went out on a Friday and you decided to knock on doors just cold. Yeah. What, yeah. what happened? Um, yeah, so look, I just mainly targeted um, uh, car dealers um, and uh, yeah, look, drove up to my sort of um, neighbouring larger sort of city and uh, literally <laughs> just literally Googled uh, um, car dealers and drove to them and went in and approached the people and just had a chat really. Um, yeah. Asked for the manager, asked for someone in marketing, and then pretty much just went through the proposal um, and had a great response. Had, I think, yeah, I think I had about four or five visits until I had someone say no. Everyone, okay, so just tell us like you rock up to a car dealership, you go into the new car area, uh, there's usually uh, sales people hanging around, you just, yep. you just simply said, can I speak to the manager? Was that the thrust? Yeah, yeah. Usually you're approached really quickly in those sort of situations because they're right onto it. Um, but you know, if, if I made my, if I actually got to a reception desk um, before someone approached me, I would just simply say, oh, I'm here. Um, I've got a, a um, gift. Um, I'm a local photographer. My name's John. I, I've got, a, I'm a local photographer. I've got a gift um, program that I'd like to chat to the manager or marketing manager, yeah. please. Are they around? A um, couple of times I timed it wrong and, and uh, they were in a meeting. So I said, sure, I'll pop back um, and then pop back. And then, um, yeah, it was welcomed in really. Um, yeah, so I, I, I found that uh, people in this location were very approachable, very friendly, very courteous, right. and it was all very positive. And um, I would show them examples of, of of a letter, of a gift certificate, um, show them some of my work, and then just run through it. And How did you just show them your work? Oh, look, I just took in a little um, MacBook Pro yep. with with a you know five or six photos. Just you know, they just. Whether they actually want to see that, I don't know, but I just thought it was something just to show them. Um, and they, you know, they liked the work. They could see that it was of a quality, quality. That, they, that, yep. that they wanted to maybe, you know, pass on to their clients as a gift. Um, and, um, yeah, just, just sort of went through um, what the gift involved, what the client would receive. Um, just real simple. There was no sort of... No, sort of um, nothing other than I guess what what we've been told a little bit before how to do it, how you've told me to do it, um, and you know, um, it's very simple. It's a great idea. It's a great concept. So there's there's a good chance people will say yes. Okay, so but you know, I, I'm thinking about what people watching this would say. Um, didn't you get any resistance, like? Didn't didn't the uh, manager or whatever say no? I'll have to speak to the boss. Or what negativity did you get? Didn't you get some sort of form of people pushing you away and putting you off? Uh, yeah, look, I did. Um, yeah, look, I, uh, since chatting to you last, I, I I hit. I went in through Perth, and I um, I went into I went into one, and it was exotic exotic cars, right, and you know, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, right. 
Porsches. I thought, oh, I'll give that one a go. <laughs> yeah. I went out with my laptop and my, my, my you know, info and um, walked in and there was the dealer principal there on the phone. All right. Got the phone. I said, hi, mate. I'm just here with this. Uh, how's it going? My name's John. I'm a local photographer. I've got this great gift program. You know, do you want to have a little chat? And he's like, no, mate, I'm not interested. And I went, oh, okay. What, have you done it before? Is there a reason? And he said, we're pretty quiet. Maybe another time. And I just thought, okay, mate. And, and there was a well, definite. He, he thought you were after his money, did he? No, no, no. I think he, I said, oh, this, you know, I explained a little bit more into it, but he, I got, I got the sense actually that perhaps he was sort of, he was sort of saying that, that there weren't, that, that things weren't great for them at the moment. So yeah. they, maybe it's not worth your while to right. be doing. Right. Rather than, uh, gee, this, this is going to cost me money. Things are quiet. I can't afford anything. He, he, yeah. <laughs> Did you feel he was trying? You were trying to sell him anything, or because I think that's one of the points that you have to bring up front. By the way, it's not going to cost you anything. I'm oh not, yeah, I'm not that's one of the major you. ones. Yeah, 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 and and you know it's a major one because they ask a couple of times after because yeah. they're kind yeah. of, their yeah. brains going, their brains going. Why would you even do this? What that's what's right. the why you know and you have to sort of you have to be just up front I think with people and just sort of matter of fact about it and just say, well look you know. Um, I'm relying on doing a good job and that people buy more photos. That's mm. essentially it. Um, you know, I had, I went into a couple of places in Perth. Um, some had been burned by other, other photographers, photographers yeah. um, that hadn't done the right thing by them. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they were like, no, nah, no way. And I was yeah. like, oh, what a shame, you know, like, do you not want to try it with someone else? Because I don't operate that way, that particular mm. way. The that you've just highlighted I don't do it that way no yeah. no 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 thanks yeah. no, just, so yeah I think I think if you kind of like go into it going look you know the odds are that some people today will say no and it's not anything personal it's just mm. that they're even too busy they're too you know that they're, they're too busy they don't think they need it they don't need to do anything else or perhaps they're a little bit a little bit lazy or perhaps there, there's other re there's probably a million reasons yeah. why yeah and, and when, when you took this approach and, uh, and i mean it's what i say to my clients you don't know until you give it a go and that's the yeah. same with anything you just don't know you went out expecting no 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 oh. and in the end you couldn't get a no yeah for the first four i think it, yeah it was four or five uh visits and then i got a no and that was a vet and they just and the reason what i found difficult with vets is um the vets are actually in there working doing surgeries or yeah, treating it's difficult to talk to and them. you've got a guard at the front on the reception and you know they say the old classic you know leave some stuff send us an email and you just think well i don't know i i, I just think it's it's something that needs to be explained a little bit in person. Mm. It come it works better for me, um, uh, and yeah, I, I I and you know like you can get you can get sort of different ones that didn't work out. There were other ones that obviously had alliance. I, when I went to Perth, I found that that some chains had already been um, already had something going with yeah. with other, other studios. So yeah. you know. Um, so you had a lot of success. Tell us what what uh, people did say yes to you. You had a it wasn't a Toyota. What was the first one you went to? The Mercedes. Yeah, so I've got a Mercedes. I've got two Mercedes now. So uh, that's two dealerships. Yeah. And and who yeah. else? Uh, Subaru. Um, I've. Got Subaru. Oh yeah, there was another one called. Auto. It, was, it was a it was a group one, and that has that does Jeep, Chrysler. Right. Uh, so uh, pretty awesome. Alfa Romeo. Yeah. Yeah. Who else? Uh, uh, you went was, to Harley. Yeah, so I've been to Harley Davidson's. Um, that one 
I'll follow up on. So what I also reckon, what I also do, I mean, everyone's different, but I'm, my memory's terrible. So what I used to do in the past was I'd spend a day going out and I'd grab people's cards and then, yeah. and then I'd come back to it two or three days later and go, oh God, what did this one say? What was this? <laughs> so now, now I've actually got a notepad just saying Alliance yeah. is yeah. here, Alliance is there. And then I actually make notes who I've spoken to, who's the person to talk to, what they said. And then even through to the point where they've said yes, I'll put a note saying, sent them a draft letter. And then another note, yep, they've approved it. Go ahead to print. And then oh, I drink. Yeah, just keeping, off yeah. Just yeah. keeping notes, really. Um, yeah. What, that, what, what happened with the Harley? What, what, the, so the Harley the one, he's gonna, it was a, oh, yeah, send it all through on email. Uh, and then I'll chat to the owners. So it's due a follow up now because, yeah. you know, that could be one of those. Um, uh, I actually went into a place. A lot of what I found in Perth was a lot of them were linked. They're all linked with different ones. So I actually went into a Volvo that turned out to be one that does, um, what was it, Range Rovers, um, Jaguars, yeah. like all oh, very high end um, uh, uh, minis. Yeah. And the lady there, I happened to just walk in and chat to the uh, manager. And he said, oh, well, the, mark the overhead marketing lady's here. Why don't you chat to her? So I chatted to her and she she just happened to like my, she, she knows she quite liked my photos and she liked the concept. And so that's another one that's, um, she really liked it. She said, I'll pitch it to the bosses, the big bosses. Mm -hmm. um, and I said, okay, and if we need to tweak the envelopes for the Jaguar yeah. style and, you know, separately for different brands but she thought that the way i presented for this one would suit this particular car so yeah so um uh yeah so there was that one uh i've also the, t the toyota one that i had existing i went and met the marketing manager there and now he's taken on two more toyota dealers dealerships so that's pretty much doubled if not and we know the only one you had was this Toyota dealership that you only got a couple of months ago. Yeah. And we've been monitoring sales from that and they've been pretty good, haven't they? Yeah. Well, Saturday we had a four and a half grand 5, one. Five thousand? Mm. Really? Yeah. Wow. How yeah. You, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah so that's Saturday. That Saturday. Yeah. Fantastic. And yeah. Yeah, prior to that, you had a 2000, I remember, a 1400. You had a no sale. Yeah. Yeah. Look, yeah. And I, I think, um, I think as, as what I've, what I've learned and probably one thing that I would say, um, to any, any photographers thinking of going out and doing this mm -hmm. is, um, just, you know, kind of do the right thing by the actual people that are, that are doing this alliance with you because there was two, that were saying i loved the pro i loved the whole concept but what happened was the people went went into the um into the sales meeting they got their they had their shoot yeah. their old classic they were in front of their photos yeah uh, no one had given them any idea of what they cost Price. and yeah. then they hammered them uh pressure sold them and then the clients phoned up the dealership complained and that was it done. And now they don't ever want to do it with, with, a with anybody. Again. Yeah, no, that so, makes me shiver. That that uh, yeah. is so wrong. In why would you do that as a business? Like it's crazy. As a photographer, why would you yeah. do that? You know, it's not going to work. And even the meeting with the Toyota one, um, I had to really guarantee. I had to really guarantee. And I said, look, I this is my process. And I will write up a checklist for Linda at the studio to make sure she says this to clients yeah. to guarantee that he says, I just don't want to get a rev He showed me a review from another photographer on their Facebook. And it was all about not telling them the pricing yeah. and, and yeah. shock, horror, shock yeah. horror tactics. Yeah. And he said, I don't want, if I receive this, you're, you're gone. You're gone. Yeah. You're gone. And I said, okay. And that is worth so many as we're finding out this Toyota dealership. That's worth, hundreds of thousands of dollars over the next years. Yeah. And why would you risk that? I mean, just stupid. 
And then there are examples of people doing it right. Uh, I went into one, uh, could have been Audi, or I went into one and, and the, the manager said, yep, come in, sit down, yep. And I, I went through and it's quite funny, he let me go through the whole thing. Yeah, he goes, doing it. yep, I'm doing that with these guys. And I was like, great. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. And I said, well, how long have you been doing it? And he said, three years, and we're really happy. And I said, yeah, well, that's great. Right. So, so there's, your, there's your thing. Like, if you're going to go to the lengths of literally cold calling and walking in, and once you get one, treat them, treat the clients and treat the dealership or treat whoever it is like it royalty. To, because Cause that's one of their biggest fears mm. is them because it reflects on them as a brand. Yeah. If the photographer does that pressure selling or does anything wrong, don't upset your customers. No, that's right. And, and that's they... normal business practice, isn't it? No, that, that's right. Well, you're not going to ever want to want to supply a gift to one of your clients where it's, the experience is going to be negative. They're just going to they're just going to ditch you like that straight away. Gone. You'll probably, if you get away with one complaint, then fine. You'll, but you'll, that'll be it. You'd be lucky to get away with one. I think. Yeah, the thing is, as well, if if you can have this relationship with a dealership uh, or or whatever third party affiliate for a year, at least you're building up some trust. So then, if you get the odd one, that's the impossible customer to please, yeah. they will, you know, they'll still be on board with you. And as yeah. I say. What you should be doing, of course, is all these customers you get from Toyota, make them happy, and then get them to, you know, send a message to Toyota saying, I got my photographs, they were fantastic, you know, I'll thank you for the gift. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. And build that relationship, build it, build it. Send the, the, the marketing manager a bottle of wine saying, you know, it's been six months now, it's been fantastic, I thought I'd, you know. Mm. Um, oh no, you're in the Margaret River. You send them a crate, don't you? Well, they'd have <laughs> wine of their own, wouldn't they? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> be hard to send them anything, or you could yeah. send the marketing manager a gift of a thousand dollars worth. And just talking about that, so my recommendation is around about a thousand dollar value, which would be a session and. Yours is well a 2016 a canvas yes. or some a 2016 mounted ready for framing. Yeah, yeah. So it's got to have a, a high value. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but, but like hmm. we said, you had a four and a half thousand dollar sale. They get a complimentary 2016 ready for framing. Yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. And I think one of the keys is that that's not tradable. You can't put that value. Yeah. into something else. It's a gift. Well, that's right. That protects you. So essentially it is one print. So yeah. the idea being that if you, if you, if they're open to it and you've done yourself and you've done a, a pretty good job, you're going to yeah. get some extra they sales. Yeah. Yeah. They want, they uh, want more. And, and yeah. that's, that shows in that. So that's good. Uh, the other thing as well with the gift, you don't have to make it something that's on the price list either. You can no. make it um, a specific size, uh, even yeah. a specific frame if you want, that's not that's on your right. price list. So it's not a yeah. tradable thing. Yeah, we don't have a 16 by 20 print in our price oh, list. Oh, you don't? Okay. No. So it's, well, it's yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, but you know, like um, I went into some other places, in. Uh, so I got the Mandra Mercedes, I went into another dealership uh, in Mandra and you know, the guy they either like it or they don't basically and the guy was like the guy this was one of the owners and he says i love it i'm going to put it to my um, business partner and i think it's a brilliant concept i had another guy that was a it was um uh, it was mercedes but it also had ferrari it also had the real high-end stuff wow. and i happened to walk in and it was the owner again and he was like oh this is brilliant i'm going to talk to my wow. sales people and i think we'll do it for a certain line of line of car yeah. um, oh, good. that they're trying to promote. So Excellent. yeah, it doesn't take long to get a bit of a bit of sort of traction and getting you know, getting something positive happening for sure. I have to tell you, John, one of the most uh, 
the questions that come up when I suggest this to clients, to photographers, is they say, what's in it for them? You know, they always think that the dealership is looking for something for themselves, but you haven't found that. No, I think, oh, look, so you can, you, I get the feeling that some of the, some of the dealerships are finding it a bit uh, tough and they are actually open, open to other marketing. They realize that, yeah. you know, that, that there is, um, you know, uh, elements where they've got to open up a little bit and sort of try and stand out and get people talking about them. And that's, that's the plus that I say is that you will end up getting great word of mouth because you're giving this brilliant gift. They'll have Ooh. a brilliant experience. They'll let, they'll have a photo on their wall that their friends and family will chat about. Yeah. It's a it's a win win, you know. It doesn't cost them anything, you know, all that sort of stuff. So you just highlight the positives. Um, for yeah. me, I, I guess for me, I it seems like a no brainer. If I was them, I'd I'd be saying yes. So I kind of believe in it as well. So that helps. You, you've just given me a thought because I think the uh, the, the print that they get the gift. I think you sh it should have some sort of signage or a label that when they collect it is on, um, th this here, um, here is your gift from. Yeah. Or maybe wrap it separately and because it, it's a gift from the dealership. Yes. So yeah. If you can make, separate it. So there's your gift from the dealership and, and the, these are the other things you, yeah. use, you know, maybe talk to the dealership about it or I think that's something we've really got to we've really got to go over the top and with these customers and with this mm -hmm. gift and make make them see it as a gift a true gift yeah 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 that's, yeah, yeah just tell me tell us that story that you told me you went it was interesting because you went to a town that is an hour drive from where you are and then you went to a smaller town, a country town, and I thought you'd get a better response there, being country people, but you found a bit of resistance there, especially yeah. with, with that one you went and the the, uh, the boss was in a bad mood or something. Tell us that yeah. story. Yeah, well, I walked into one in, yeah, um, and I noticed straight away the difference. I'd already been to one dealership, um, well, a Toyota, and uh, I said that I've got this up and running with other Toyota dealerships and the guy just cut me dead, not interested, thanks, and, that, and sort of turned and walked off and it was like, right. Right. that was quite brutal. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and, I, I went, and then I went into another, I went into this other place um, and I walked in and there was this guy and he said, oh, hi, mate, can I help you? And I said, yeah, look, you know, I'm a, I'm a local, um, I'm a local photographer, and I think I got to there, and he goes, "Not interested, thanks, mate. I don't need photos, you know." And and made turned to one of his staff and made some comment, and they cracked up, and I was like, "Yeah, this is this is a bit tougher than than the other place for sure." Yeah. <laughs> what happened? I was one of the managers, uh, one of the, the actual manager. So that was the owner. That's how he treat. That's how the owner right. decided that's to how treat. The owner works. Yeah. yeah. Of course, uh, you know. I mean, it just baffles me to some res in some sort of respect that this guy decides, even though I'm a photographer, he doesn't realise that maybe one day I'll need a car. <laughs> yeah. But you may <laughs> drive a car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's a chance that guy might need a car. So even though he, I don't want to do this, you know, perhaps I'll just be polite. So you know, exactly, it's, it just baffles me. But anyway, and the guy's probably wondering why his place is a bit slow. Um, so anyway, so the manager jumps up and comes out of his office and he goes, "Oh, hi, hi. Um, yeah, uh, look, I, um, I heard what you were saying, and you know, um, I've heard of you. I've heard of you. Uh, can you show me? Can you run it past me?" And mm -hmm. I said, oh, yeah, absolutely. So it's this and it's that. And he said, oh, this is brilliant. This, he goes, look, he's in, a, this, you know, he's in a bad mood. You know, he's in a sort of all hushed voice sort of, you know, thing. And I'm like, okay, all right, no worries, you know. Um, well, this is it. Look, and I didn't even bother grabbing their details to, mm. to then follow up. I said, look, if you're interested, you call me. Call me. It's yeah. all good. I said, I'm, and, you know, one other good thing, a line to use is um, I'm looking for a couple of local dealerships to, to, yeah. to do this with because then it takes a what then it makes them go oh hang on so he's 
going, yeah, he's going, going to go to different places. My competitors yeah. then, if I don't take it up, oh, well, that's not good. So, you know, I said that to him and, and that was it. But, um, yeah, it was nice of him to jump up and and uh, and hear me out at least. Did you, <laughs> did you find that, though, were the dealership saying, if we do it, we don't want it done with anyone else? Because that's what we found with other photographers, so that sort of reaction from yeah. dealerships. Yeah, they were interested and curious about other, you know, uh, one of them was saying, oh, I don't, you know, uh, you won't be doing this with all dealerships. And I said, oh, no, not all of them, no. Um, but I kind of, you know, I think also you want to see, you want to see which one when it's up and running, actually. Yeah, that's right. It's you know, working. maybe it's you're not quite you're not actually giving them out or the way you're doing it is giving clients a bit of doubt about it all from, from the way it's given and delivered. So then you, you might wean a few out, but, um, yeah, it's sort of interesting that you, you've gone for, well, there are a lot more dealerships you could go to. You started at the high end, which is great. And mm. Dan, but even Toyota is giving you a great result. I mean, that's, that's brought in. Yeah. Has that brought in twenty thousand in the last three or four weeks? Yeah, be close to that. Yeah, be close to that. Yes, yeah. four and a half. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? And yeah. If we, if you, if that, and you don't have to do anything, they just phone the studio and say, oh, I've yeah, got a that, yeah. That's it as well. It's the phone rings, the phone rings, yeah, yeah. and they're excited and. Yeah. It's an easy booking. It's not like a it's not like a Facebook one where you've got this lengthy ex explanation. Right. Of, so what's it all about? And you know, it's it's yeah. a warmer, it's a warmer, more excited lead. Um, and if you if you're happy to just you know if you're happy that to say look yeah you can have a session and you can you can have that lovely wall print and leave it there if you want. Otherwise, if you want to get some more, you can. And this is how it all works. And then yeah. you know, just be. Just be open. nice and upfront with them. Yeah, and it has to be that. It really has to be a gift and yeah. uh, no yeah. pressure. And I think no. all, all photographers, certainly my clients, respect that. You know, none of, none of them are pressure salespeople or anything yeah. like that. So we, we have to tread very carefully. But what a fantastic thing if you can set, like you have four or five up, the multiplication factor. Yeah, is is enormous and and could be worth so much money in the years to come. It's yeah, just amazing. Um, so you also um, went to a horseland store or something? Was there a big store? Yeah, yeah look, so I went it, 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 and that, I stopped doing it actually because that was yeah. one of the things I found previously was I just go anywhere. I just drive along and go, right. oh, there's a thing and there's pull a, in and yeah. and do the, you know. Whereas I stopped myself, I did do that the first time. So I went to Horseland. Next to Horseland was a thing uh, like a dog grooming daycare, yep. yeah. and I just went, "Well, look, that's that's worth a go." So those they both said yes. Uh, and next door to that was the Subaru dealership, and then next door <laughs> that was the yes. <laughs> so you've got the, you thought I'm going to get the whole town. It makes, yeah, yeah, by the time I went out of there, I got four, just went, yep, and I was like, oh my God, this is crazy, um, and then I think I drove to the vets and got told no, you oh, know, it's like, oh, oh. Uh, the to and funnily enough, the Toyota in Bunbury as well, they're, in, they're, they're super into it, but they just need to um, see one last boss, big, big boss, okay, yeah. so, um, so there's, yeah. That that one was a was a very positive conversation, but um, yeah. So that the the horse land, yeah, they were keen. They'd done something previously, right? Um, with someone else a few years back, so they kind of knew how it worked. But um, so I've dropped off pack gift packs to to the car dealers in Bunbury. Um, you did that pretty quickly, though, didn't you? You were there on the Friday, and you dropped those off on Monday or something. Uh, or was it no, a week a, later? A week, yeah. A I dropped week, them off. Yeah. Uh, I dropped them off on Thursday on the way up to Perth. Okay, so you did it quickly, which you have to do. It was good. While yeah. Still excited. Yeah. Yeah, and the and the Subaru 
manager emailed me and said, "Ah, oh, you know, um, I hope we thank so much for dropping them off. They look fantastic. I hope we can keep this relationship going into the future." Wow, great! I just, uh, I, I just want to ask you one more question. Um, so, with the Toyota dealership that's operating at present, and you had this four and a half thousand dollar sale from on Saturday. Um, what are they actually doing? Are they posting out a letter two weeks after the sale? Are they giving it on the day? What's the process there? On the day. On I, the I've, day? Said, I've said give them on the day to everyone. Um, so when they sell a car, normally the car is picked up uh, a week later or something, or whenever it's ready, and then they go to the salesperson, the salesperson gives them the, the keys, and it's at that point, is it? They give yeah. them just your letter, or do they have a pack? Or well, the one that I speak to that does the Land Rover Jaguars, they've got this. They've got different gift packs for with, different cars, with yeah, with brands, yeah. all branded, uh, different ones, different type target market, I guess. Um, so they're gonna they're gonna look at putting it in with that. Yeah. But they love, um, you know, they they. They can sort of see that people are going to come down to Margaret River for shoots, and yeah, that I think the lady there could see. They looked at the photos that I'd taken in the forest. So this is so the interesting thing was that I kind of went up there in a way to build relationships for my studio in Fremantle, but I ended up the the, the I ended up the higher end ones just for, said no, we want your brand, we want you, we want the forest. Yeah. We want that Margaret River. Uh, yeah, we want photographs in this area. Yeah, and and I think you know, the, the, the a lot of people do with that sort of you know income. They can go down there for weekends, and they're down there anyway. So it's something that will work quite well. Plus, I think local people like to deal with local people. Yeah, and I've sort of found that you know I, I know one. Um, the photographer who got a dentist and in talking to the dentist, the dentist said they had been approached by a photographer outside of the area, but they wanted someone local. Right. So yeah. she just happened to be at the right place at the right time. She was a local photographer. Yeah. So it was a no brainer. So yeah, they do like it in the, their own area. So that's, that's great. Yeah. So what advice would you give photographers who are, you know, looking at uh, setting up these third-party affiliates um, to make it a bit easier for them. Maybe they're not like you. Maybe they're not able to do that. Would you? What would you recommend or suggest to them? Um, I think even if you're not really, uh, I think just look at it kind of more from a, a matter-of-fact point of view, and I think it takes the pressure off a little bit. I think just go in there. When you're heading out there to go and approach some, if you're going to walk in, it's okay. Like it's not mm. bad to walk into something and offer them a, a, prop, a business proposition, you know, yeah. um, and and just maybe just realize that, yeah, some will say no. Some might not be in a good mood and they'll say no. Someone might say something. <laughs> you might get the odd rude one. Um, but I think ultimately, you know, the odds are stacked that you will come across one that's you know, open to it, um, and and you will you will get that yes, and you will get something started, and then that might give you that little spark of confidence to yeah, go, sure, I'll, I'll go to the next one, and that's all that happened with me. Um, but, but it is so worth doing, isn't it? As as you've proven so far that wow, it, yeah, you, look, you, you got to put in the effort and get out get out of the comfort zone and, and do something because yeah. you, you just have to. I think you do, uh, and and it doesn't even become. It's not even an issue after you've done it for a couple of days. It's it's and I actually found it quite funny walking into some of them, like Por uh, Bentleys and Porsches and yeah. Ferraris. I was just like, this is quite funny. I'm just walking into this place and just gonna, you know, and, yeah. yeah. And someone comes and tries to sort of. Uh, you know, like a like a gatekeeper kind of comes out and says, "Okay, and um, you know, yeah, can I help you? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to see um, I'd like to see the manager or the or the marketing person." And, and they're like, "Okay, and um, and do you have an appointment? No, and you are?" And I'm like, "John." 
<laughs> Don't you then, know who I am? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, John, like that. And then uh, it was quite funny. The lady kind of like looked and was like, John? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's, you asked my name, you know, like, go and get the manager, please. <laughs> <laughs> and let me have a chat, you know, like he might yeah. like the idea. So yeah, it's quite funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm John. I know his wife very well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, you just yeah, you see the face going, what? What's this? Yeah, yeah. It's, um, it, it's funny out there, isn't it? The way people have this sort of fear of talking to people, you know, just. Yeah, I think just just relax with it and just deliver deliver it in a in a easy kind of way to you know not maybe practice practice it if you're not yeah. you I know think one of the keys is what you said, John. If you go in there and say I'm a local, that that first yeah approach, saying I'm a local photographer and I have a studio in in Smith Street or wherever, that immediately is a good start, I think. Yeah, because I know yeah. in my business, if someone came in and, and started talking, I'd be negative. But if they said I'm a local, I go okay. Then I'll listen a bit further because I yeah. know I know where you are. I know where you live. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've yeah. broken a bit of uh, a bit of the barrier down just by saying yeah. you're local, and you want to deal with local anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And that's why I only kept it to, you know, I didn't go too far north of yeah. Perth or anything like that. I just kept it sort of within a catchment area. And yeah, yeah. Um, well, yeah, well, that's great. Great for that. Um, yes. And uh, for those who are listening, those photographers, I hope it sort of inspired them a little bit to get out there and realize that it's there for the taking because you just went out there and you took it. You'd be, yeah. You, you, you'd be pretty uh, sort of pissed off, wouldn't you, if you'd have uh, gone and then all these dealerships had said, oh, no, a photographer came last week and we signed up with them. You'd yeah. have been really annoyed, wouldn't you? Be pretty gutted, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, damn, I missed out. I missed out too late. Yeah. 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 So all exactly. those uh, all those who, uh, who try to do it with these dealerships, you've signed it up, so it's too late for them. Yeah, I pretty much hit Perth. <laughs> well, you've only just started, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True, All right. True. Thanks for that. We'll no, uh, talk okay. to you later and thanks for your time. Cheers. Thank you. Right, See you, mate. Bye.